Hey guys, so I'm going to do a fresh um, evergreen type arrangement that you're going to be able to take to the cemetery. So you see these like cones that go down into the ground. Well, usually people do them artificial, but this lady wanted it fresh. So I'm like, hey, this would be a good opportunity to teach you guys how to do a little fresh something something. Um, the bad thing is you can't really get it to stand up because of that cone, which soaks down into the ground or sticks. Well, it could soak too, but sticks down into the ground. So I have my Oasis foam already pre-soaked, and then I have my container um, that is actually one that holds water. Some of them do not hold water, so I had to make sure that I had that. Um, and I'm going to start with some fresh evergreen. So, and my nose runs when I work with the evergreen stuff, so that's why my nose is running. So don't think I'm like doing, you know, like, oh my gosh, what's she got going on? It's because I'm allergic to it or something, I don't know. You would think that a florist wouldn't be allergic to all that good stuff or I just take some allergy medicines so we also have some beautiful berries that are a blue or a blue it's red and it's like a red winter berry so these kind of remind me of the beautiful winter berries that you see on um, different containers and such for um, Christmas with like cardinals you know things like that this is a draping type of greenery so I'm gonna put that around my bottom so we have that I think this is called cedar um, if it has the little yellow dots on it it's called incense cedar it looks like funny little hairdo or wings okay so um, we're going to do that around the bottom and this stuff also can get into your fingers really easily and make a little boo-boo and give you a little splinter then this is regular old uh, stuff that we typically use, and I'm, I think it's spruce. I need to review my terms. This is awful. I can't believe I don't know this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the back like that, and I'm doing this backwards, so I really can't see exactly what's happening to my arrangement, but most of the time I don't see what's happening to my arrangement until I walk away and come back anyway, so it's no big deal. Oh, I kind of feel like Wilson from Home Improvement. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tim, what's up? Emma has his name's Tim. Ha ha. But my face is covered just like him. Okay. Then um, you have to see how when I cut this, you have to pull all these little needles off because it's going to, I hope it doesn't go in my water that I'm drinking too. I hate that because then it tastes like fresh pine. Um, you have to pull those little needles off so this can make sure that you have a good supply of water to the stem still. I wish I had somebody who knew how to work these majiggers. Let's see if I can like move it it just keeps lighting back but that's all right uh it is like two in the afternoon and we're getting very close to christmas season so i'm not gonna say that we're not gonna be interrupted here because that's a good possibility there's also this tool that i used to have it was called a stripper it's not a fun name so it's a stripper and it would take all those little pine needles off and you know what i might be amazon and that tonight because i should have it because I'm sitting here picking it all off and it's exhausting to do that. It takes so much energy to be a florist and you would never know it. You have to haul buckets and put all these chemicals in your buckets and, oh, look at this. It's like a little pine cone starting to grow. So I'm not gonna probably be able to use that in there. I really don't know if that's what it is really, if a pine cone's growing or not. <laughs> I just thought it looked like it. Okay, so I stripped that off too. Um, let me get a little more of these drapey drapeys and fill in here. And these would last all winter, even if they were outside, as long as the winter is a typical Missouri winter or wherever you are where the winter is cooler than like, you know, 60 degrees. Um, even if they didn't have water, because if you have a tree like this, they're beautiful all winter. And um, if, like as in if you put this out on a cemetery is what I'm saying. And then also if you put it out on a cemetery and you have a little bit of rain here or there, snow, um, it would still stay just as fresh. The only problem is if it warms up real warm on a day when it's been um, not uh, wet, that is when it would get bad. Okay, so this is going to really create my height. I'm gonna put that directly in the center. And I pushed it down pretty far. I also have some pine cones. And I'm gonna wrap those up and get those in there as well. I love the pine cone look. It's a great texture. There's so many things that you can do with pine cones these days. If you watch Pinterest, you see all kinds of like, this is how you get them to turn white. This is how you get them to turn orange. This is how you do this. 
I haven't tried any of them, but I really want to. But there is nothing better than just a regular pine cone whenever it's Christmas because that texture alone just shows that you have a good contrast with your greenery, with your berries, and then you have some pine cones. I had one of my friends back here today and she was talking to me and I'm like, yeah, I probably need to do a YouTube video, but I feel like nobody really watches them. I feel like I just waste my breath and I'm just kind of doing them. And she's like, what do you mean? I said, well, I share them on my Facebook page, but when we do the lives, we know we have a good response. We have good feedback. I said, but when we do these YouTube ones, I said, I don't really know. I don't really know if anybody's watching them because there's no way to actually tell unless somebody comments on the picture or likes it. And sometimes I think those, I don't know what they're called, you know, the little testy things that they do on Facebook where they're tracking you, which they are tracking us. Ooh, ooh I had a pine cone down. I need to put a bigger wire on it. Um, they're tracking all of us and that's how we do marketing. But I feel like those don't always tell us exactly the truth of what's being seen. So if you guys are actually watching this video, if you could maybe like make some kind of comment down below this that you actually saw the video, because I'm kind of like, maybe I'm just doing this for no reason. I don't know. Okay, so here is another stem of those amazing berries. I'm gonna put it right down here in the front, like so. And right now this is still looking like a weedy, crazy mess, right? Yeah, I know. I need some ribbon and I'm hoping that this is gonna stay because I'm getting a little top heavy. That happens. Ooh. Let's see, let me put it in this. Ah, much better. Okay, I might have to run away for a minute and go grab some balls. I forgot my balls, my Christmas balls. Silver and gold. I'm probably gonna go with red, but that's okay. Um. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna have you stare at this for a little bit. I need to go grab balls and wire and ribbon. Count to 30 seconds. Okay. in 30 seconds. Jamie just cleaned the whole back area of that shop and it looks so good. I actually found what I was looking for. So here are some glitter balls. Literally Walmart. Great. They're plastic. You don't want to put glass because if you have a hard windstorm or something, it can blow them off. Yes, I am out of breath. That is sad. Real sad. The other day I walked um, in this shop, which if anybody has actually been to the shop, it's not big at all by any means. I walked six miles in this shop. I got home and I'm like, oh my gosh, Tim, I am like so exhausted. I can't keep going. And he's like, why? I'm like, I don't know. And Elise goes, mom, you met all your active goals on your watch tonight. I said, yeah, you're right. And I looked at it and it was like 13,000 steps or something, six miles. I'm like, no wonder I am tired. <laughs> Good grief, Amanda. So I'm just gonna do, um, not really like a bow, but like a few little loops and a long tail. I'm gonna stick that in there. I have some wire here. I probably did not get enough. Go figure. I was, I was running really quickly. Okay. You also could put fresh flowers in this. However, I am not doing that for um, this order because the lady did not specify that. She wants something that's gonna live throughout the season. You guys aren't even seeing what I'm doing here, sorry. I'm going to get better at these like selfie video thingies, I promise. I have to get better because if I don't, I'm not gonna be able to do them anymore because nobody's gonna watch them. Which is why I have a feeling it's happening now, <laughs> but I don't know. Okay, so I, this one I made just a tail. So it doesn't have two loops, it only has one. And these are called green picks, they have little wire picks on them. You can stick it down on the foam like so. See, I'm already getting somewhere way better than what I was. Now I need to put some wire on this pine cone. I'm in a video, but yes. Allison's yelling at me. I'm almost done. Okay, I need to put, I don't know if I want red. I think I'm gonna go with more gold. 
So I'm going to probably put two more of these balls in there and then I will be done. The back of this is not filled in. I was going to teach you guys how to do that too. All you got to do is take your other greenery or some leather leaf, which is that greenery that I tell you all floors hate, that cheap kind, and fill it in so you can't see you're working. Um, another way you can do is pop these little heads off that have the, have the little um, metal parts like this. Pop that off and put the glue on the pick and then stick it in there and it is better. But we are improvising today and that's okay. I have a line of people waiting for me out front, I'm pretty sure. But I know as soon as they walk out front, I'm done designing and I have been trying to get back here. It is now 2.13 and I've been trying to get back here to design since 8.03 this morning and I finally made it back here at 1.20. Okay, so I'm definitely making some progress. I'm gonna add another ribbon tail over here. I totally think I should probably add some carnations to this or something along those lines to jazz it up a little bit. Let me see what I can find out here. It almost needs like, I don't know, these two balls are too close together or something that's too much. Okay, so I'm definitely onto something. As you guys can tell, this is not how I would leave this finished product because I'm not finished, but I have to go out front. I definitely need another set of berries there. Um, so I will see you guys soon and I will do another live very shortly. All right, bye.